Hello, Morgan Knoll here with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I'm bringing you an inventory trailer that just arrived. It's a 2023 Cimarron North Star two horse gooseneck. And you heard me right on that. It's a two horse gooseneck. I know these are a little rare to come by and see. So having one in our inventory is definitely really nice to have, be able to show you guys how it is. But we'll start right over here on the on the gooseneck structure. So we've got our adjustable coupler. We wanna make sure you're riding as level as possible. So being able to, you know, adjust this coupler based on the tow vehicle helps out big time. Make sure you got both your axles, nothing's overstressed or anything. And then we've got our safety chains, our breakaway cable. And then right now I've got it plugged into our battery pack so you can see how the lights operate. So if you wanted to operate lights without being plugged in to a uh, tow vehicle, you'd have to get an external battery source or plug it into a tow vehicle. And then down below, we've got our manual crank jack and then our full size spare tire. So, and then something we did on this trailer and majority of our trailers that we're ordering in for inventory, we're actually doing a 53 inch gooseneck drop wall. And that gives you some more space between the pickup bed and the top of the trailer. And that way, if you're going off road a little bit more, you've got some more play before, you know, hopefully it never happens, but before this gets into your pickup bed. So having that extra space helps out big time, no matter what the vehicle or what truck you're towing with. Cause I know recently trucks have been getting taller and taller. So having that capability just helps out in addition to having the adjustable coupler on there. But right up front, we've got our 42 inch wide tack door with the swing out saddle rack. So having that 42 inch wide door gives you some more space to get in and out of the trailer and have this saddle rack swung out. So I mean, space wise, I can walk up in here, grab my bridles, grab anything I need with having this still swung out. And that's a big one for me, just having that extra space in here. We've got the two saddle tiers and then the two blanket poles up top. Those saddle tiers and blanket poles, they're all adjustable, removable. You can add additional if you wanted to. All you gotta do is back these two little bolts out and then they slide up and down. So if you wanted to move them around some and custom it to how you need it, you have that capability of doing so. On the tack door right now, we've got the window up above so you can get some airflow in that trailer, get some ventilation. And then down below, we've got the brush box. So. Me personally, brush box, I always use or keep my stuff that I use pretty often in there. So my brushes, hoof pick, fly spray, liniment, all that stuff. And it's just easy to access right there as you walk up to the trailer. So we also added a step going into the tack room door on this one. Having that step and not just stepping up, to, up on the side rail helps out big time with overall ease of use and being able to, you know, step up into the trailer. And then as we go in the tack room, to the left behind the saddle rack, you will see a 35 gallon water tank. So a water tank, I like the location of it because it takes up that awkward unused space because when I swing this back in, it sits back there perfectly. It's a nice little spot for it. Being able to bring water with you on the road, that's a big one for me, no matter if I'm going 10 minutes down the road or if I'm going several hours having water on board just in case you end up in a situation where you need to be on the side of the road, having it there just helps out big time and it's nice to have. And then on that partition wall, we've got our double row of bridle hooks. And then those bridle hooks have the carpet below them. And that carpet is gonna help alleviate some of that swishing and swaying the bridles will do in transit and then keep your bridles in good condition and then keep your trailer in good condition as well. And then you'll see a shelf with the bar down below so you can hang some show clothes. And that shelf actually has a little lip on it too. So that way, if you do have stuff sitting on there, hopefully, depending on how you drive, um, stuff isn't gonna be flying out of there and going anywhere, but having that lip helps keep it into place a little bit better too. And then up above, you will see a couple more windows in that gooseneck so you can get some more ventilation and airflow going through. If you're in a pinch, need to throw a mattress up there, you've got the space to do so. Me personally and currently, I have that as storage. So I have all my bins and buckets with all my horse stuff in there. And it's just nice to have that extra space to be able to keep stuff up there. And then down below here, we've got the full length boot box. So this opens up 
both of those sides open and it's extra storage space down there doubles as a seat that you can sit on and then triples as a step to step up into that gooseneck if you got to get up in there it's just really nice to have that boot box in this trailer too and then on the roof here you will see that we've got the uh, framework for either an AC unit or a fan so if you wanted to install one of those makes it a little bit easier having the frame already there and ready for that to to be done so then over here on the hip side of the trailer we've got our bus windows and these open up halfway and that way you can kind of pick and choose how much airflow you want going through the trailer for the horses you know start off on a cold morning you don't want a lot of airflow but still want some ventilation you can open them up just a little bit and then as the day progresses and the sun comes out and everything and you got to open them up more you can do so so nice to have that flexibility and option to keep your horse as comfortable as possible and then up above we've got an led light and then down below we've got two 5200 pound dexter torsion axles so having those 5200 pound axles if you've got a heavier bigger horse just be able to fit it on here a little bit better. You've got that weight rating to do so too. So Cimarron trailers are an all aluminum trailer. You've got one of the strongest upright posts on the market, one of the strongest flooring on the market with the center every four inches. And then every Cimarron trailer is gonna come standard with their half inch thick insulated honeycomb fiberglass roof. And that roof's got an R3 thermal value on it. So a little more heat regulating, cooler in the summer, warmer in the winter. And then it's also dent and hail resistant up to about a golf ball size hail. So really nice to have come standard on all Cimarron trailers. So on the rear here, we've got our 60-40 door opening. Currently, we do not have a ramp on this trailer, but if you needed a ramp, we could easily get one installed here in our service department and come direct from the factory. And our guys do a fantastic job here at, at putting those on. You'll see the butt bar, or butt bar, it's a strap, obviously. So a butt strap, <laughs> it's nice to have for this last horse, especially if you are to tie and tie solid. And that way, when you open a door, if you have a horse tied and it tries to start backing out, you could end up in a situation where you have something bad happening. So having the butt bar, or butt strap, to prevent that from happening helps out big time. And then it just easily unclips and clips over on this side. So we've got another LED light up above, the load light, and then you have LED lights in the stall area as well. So being able to load and unload, get horses where they need to go when it's dark out, that's, you know, it's hard to load a horse in the dark because you can't see. Horse could probably see better than us, but we think they can't, so we don't think they can. We're sitting there with their phone flashlights trying to get them to get in the trailer. I've been there, done that. So having lights in a trailer definitely helps out big time. So we've got our rubber mats on the floor, and then you will see the aluminum flooring that Cimarron has. So you do have the option and capability of upgrading to worm flooring on this. There's a dealer just south of us here that would be able to install it. And the worm flooring, what it is, um, it's a completely waterproof impenetrable layer they put on that floor, and then they have a rubber composite over top. And what that worm does is help prevent any kind of liquid or urine from getting down onto the floor. Because if you let horse urine sit on the floor and sit on there for too long, it will eat at the aluminum. And then that's when you start to see pinholes in your flooring. So coming up here into the stall area, we've got our stud divider. So having this stud stall, I really like the flexibility of it. For one, if you've got a horse that doesn't know how to stand in a trailer yet, and you've got two horses in here and they're shod, let's say, you don't want that one horse stepping, trying to balance itself and stepping on its neighbor. So having that full length stud divider helps out or helps that from happening or prevents it from happening. Or if you're only taking one horse with you and you wanna use this as a storage stall, it makes it easier to use it as a storage stall having that full length and that way nothing's rolling or sliding back between your horse's feet. So this divider, it opens up. You'd still be able to close both doors with it open so if you needed to haul something wide open, um, we can get you a little clip installed in order to get this divider to stay over in that area. But you have that flexibility of doing that. And then if you wanted pads on this divider, we could easily get some pads on there as well. Um, just kind of make it however 
you need it, I guess. And then up above, we've got some roof vents. So those roof vents, they push forward and they push backward. You push them forward, it's gonna help draw that air in, push it back, help to draw that air back out and keep that airflow going over the horse's head and back. So then I'm gonna shut this door real quick. Um, all these doors, they are on a latchback system. So all doors are gonna be, you know, solid. If that wind's whipping and you're trying to load horses by yourself, I've been there before too where doors shutting and the horse trying to get in and the horse spooks and it just ends up being a mess and then everyone's mad. So having these latch bags on these trailers or on these doors helps out big time. So all it does, so you just grab this and it just pushes into place. I mean, it's as simple as that. And then to get it undone, you just push and pop it off. So super easy to use as well. And then right back here are your light controls. So exterior light controls and then interior stall light control and then the separate one for the light in the tack room so over here on the head side of the trailer we've got our drop down windows with the jail bars so having these drop downs it's in my opinion more inviting for a horse to get into the trailer want to get into the trailer and then you're also getting that extra airflow for the horses as well and nice thing about these Cimarron trailers, the way that they have their application, you can easily take those down, offer your horse some water, check on their feed, check on them in general, make sure they're standing upright, all that stuff. I mean, being able to do this from the outside it just makes it a lot easier in my opinion. So and that just pops back up and it's as simple as that. These windows do pop into place down here so they're not going to be slapping against the trailer while you're driving down the road. So having them pop in place helps out big time too. And then if you're hauling in the winter and you just want a little bit of airflow, you can open up this bus window and just have a little bit of airflow going through and you can kind of pick and choose how much you want. Then we've got another LED light up above. In this trailer, we're sitting at 610 wide, sitting at seven feet, one inches tall. And then we got an on the floor length of 14 feet, six inches. And I'm telling you, 14 feet, six inches, you know, you're gonna be able to whip this trailer around in some smaller areas. So those of you that are just taking a couple of horses up to the mountains for a trail ride, go and see the scenic routes, being able to get this in and out of trailheads is gonna be a lot easier than anything bigger, obviously. Um, and other nice thing about this one, only weighs 3,800 pounds empty. So, you know, your smaller trucks, maybe even your a half ton truck could pull this. You just got to double check your tow rating and make sure. So having that flexibility helps out big time too. And then our Cimarron trailers, brand new, are going to come with an eight year structural warranty, three year hitch to bumper. So really good warranties on these trailers as well. But we've got a stock number on this one of 5N210999. And that's 5N210999. It's a 2023 Cimarron North Star two horse gooseneck. If you have questions on this trailer, any other trailer you see on our lot, on our website, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can call or text me at my cell phone and that's 970-218-5996. You can call me at my desk phone at 303-684-3451 or shoot me an email at morgan and that's M-O-R-G-A-N dot null, K-N-O-L-L -L, at transwest.com. If you click the link below, you'll go to this trailer on our inventory's webpage, or our web, yeah, on our webpage inventory. And then if you go on there, you can also browse our new and used inventory as well. So I look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business. And I hope you have a fantastic day.